Welcome everyone, in this video we will solve a circuit problem from a Turkish physics olympiad to which you can find the original paper in the descriptions part. Now let me draw the picture, the circuit and then solve it together. The circuit is like a triangle. It isn't that important that it looks like a triangle, but it looks like a triangle. So I want to say that. We have one battery here with an electromotive force of epsilon. This is minus plus. And this is not an ideal battery. That is, it has a resistance, an internal resistance, which we call small case R. The circuit continues like this. There is another identical battery oriented like so. This is the positive side. That's the negative side. Epsilon and R. They are the same. And now we continue it like this. There is yet another identical battery. battery. And then here we will have a resistance with a resistance value of R. A resistor, I meant. We have a resistor with a resistance value of R. Between the two sides, like this, there is a voltmeter, an ideal voltmeter. Uh, the value that this voltmeter shows us is epsilon. So between the two... So what? how can we say it? Well, when, when we travel through this resistor, we lose an electric potential of V. So epsilon, okay? You can think of it like that. And in the question, we are asked the ratio of capital R to small case R. What is this ratio? You can pause the video right now if you want. Try to do this on your own. And when you're ready, continue the video, please. Cool, I hope that you tried it and now you're ready to see the solution, to solve it together. How do we start though? Well, to start, I want to choose this point to be zero. Can you do that, you might be asking. Of course you can, why not? Just think of it like you connect this point to the ground so that it has, a, it has an electric potential of zero. And also, if you want, you can call this point VA. It doesn't matter. You get the exact same result. I only choose it to be zero because you got to admit that you're adding, subtracting zero is by far the easiest number to deal with. So that's why I choose zero. So then when we travel in this direction, what will happen? Let's say that there is a current of I, what will happen? What is the electric potential at this point? Since we traveled from the negative ter terminal to the positive side, then we should have an increase in the electric potential. So we have epsilon. But there is an internal resistance to which we lost some of the electric potential. That's why we put a minus and what is the electric potential? By Ohm's law, the V, the voltage, equals the current times the resistance. So we will basically have minus I ti times small case R. Okay? And then there will be a junction point here. There will be two, two currents that emerge, uh, that come out of this current of I, how will they be? What will the values of these two currents be? Actually, if you're looking carefully enough to this problem, you can see that these two currents will have the same value. And why? And of course, if they have the same value, well, then they are half of the initial current because they need to add up to the initial current, right? What exits the junction should equal what enters the junction. So, uh, so, yeah, so how did we decide that they are the same? Well, look at this. One will travel like this and pass through this battery, battery. The other one will travel like this, pass through this battery. And at the end, they will pass through this resistor. 
So the paths are identical. There is no reason for the electricity to prefer one path over the other. They are equally resistive, let's say. That's why the amount of uh, amount of circuit, not circuit, excuse me, the amount of current that flows through them is the same. I hope this part makes sense. It is a very important part of this problem. All right, then. What about this point? What will its electric potential be? Again, we are traveling from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. So there will be an increase in the electric potential. This is the potential right now. So if we add epsilon to it, we have two epsilon and then there will be a decrease. So minus two IR, right? No, 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 no. Why no though? I said no, because this time, even though we have R as the resistor, as the resistance, the current is no longer I, it is I over two. So the decrease is actually I over two times R. So when we subtract it from the initial one, we get three over two I R. We need to be careful. This is important. Okay, cool. Now we're told by the question, the electric potential difference between, let's say, point A and point B. Well, how was it? VA minus VB is equal to epsilon. This is told by the question. All right. And what is VA? It is, we just found it, 2 epsilon minus 3 over 2 I R. What is VB? We assigned it to be zero. You can choose it to be anything else. It The results will still be the same. Trust me. Because why will it be the same? Well, you will have a plus VB here and they will cancel out anyways. Okay, that's why. And if you don't trust me, you shouldn't trust me actually. Why do you trust me? Just try it on your own. Try it and you will see that you get the same result. Okay, if you can try something, don't trust anyone. Go ahead and try it. This is equal to uh, epsilon. So if we uh, if we solve for epsilon, we get that epsilon equals three over two i r. Oh, excuse me though, this is a huge mistake. The r is not capital, right? Sorry for that. That I was talking a lot at that point. The r uh, the r is not capital. It is this r. Okay, excuse me for it. So, epsilon is equal to 3 over 2 times i times small case r. Now, how do we connect this to capital R? Well, we use this law, Ohm's law. We know that V, the voltage across a resistor, is equal to i, the current through it, times the resistance value of that resistor. So, the voltage across it is going to be epsilon. Right, it's going to be 3 over 2 I R then. Because this is epsilon. The voltage across the resistor is this. Now, what about the current to it? What amount of current flows through it? Well, we had I over 2 here, I over 2 here. They combine at point A. So, through the resistor capital R, a current of I flows. So, the... Uh, so the current is I and then we have capital R. I's cancel. Nice. We have that 3 over 2 small case R equals capital R. We are looking for capital R divided by lowercase r. So we get that that ratio equals 3 over 2. And that's our final result. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.